I am one of the organizers of this event. I'd like to welcome all of you very warmly. I'm also the lawyer representing Erica Doggan in the constitutional case, which I'll talk about later on. I'm pleased that in such turbulent times when everyone just talks about money, you have found the time to come here this afternoon to attend this rather serious and very important event. Our moderator will lead us through the events this afternoon. Thank you. Yes, also uh, a warm welcome. My name is Rainer Fromm. I'm the moderator this afternoon. I'll be guiding us through the event. I think everybody's probably come across uh, patriotic parties in uh, Germany, and very often we've heard uh, talk about a political chameleon in the context with dubious organizations, but I think very few groups have uh, are so deserving of uh, this name as the organization surrounding Lyndon and La Rouge. A number of names are known throughout Germany. It starts with the Schiller Institute, the Anti-Drugs Coalition, the Fusion Energy Forum, all the way to the Association of German Farmers. And it's behind all these groups, uh, branches of the La Rouge group are hiding, and not just the names are very confusing, but also the thesis that are being transported, the ideas that they're trying to convey. So they have a whole mass of information services, a number of publications that they have brought out, and what you do read is extremely surprising. Queen Margaret, Margaret of Denmark is uh, labelled a mafia member, Willy Brandt is a communist agent, the uh, attack on the Pope is linked to the WWF, and the Holocaust is uh, ascribed to Zionist agents, and even Queen Elizabeth II is meant to be a member of uh, secret services and all sorts of weird things. So it's a rather colorful assemblage of conspiracy theories that goes round again and again. And this is what the Rouge organization uses to enter the political debate. So, but on the other hand, it's not just these absurd theses, but we also have real people who are damaged, who suffer. And yes, it's true that I might smile about some of the rather absurd and ridiculous things, but um, it's not ridiculous at all when it comes to real people. This is a group which works very much like a sect. It uh, stops people from getting into contact with their friends, with their families, and that is linked to conspiracy theories. It has all the features of a psycho uh, grouping of, 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 of a sect, and there's also very strong anti-Semitic positions. And what experts agree on is the question, why are they allowed to do this? What is exactly behind it? And I think today is a huge opportunity to actually learn from people who have experienced the group firsthand, from the families who have been affected, and to get some answers on those questions. So I'd like to start by thanking everyone here on the panel who have traveled to Berlin from all over the world. Thanks to all of you. I think it's fantastic that we can have this rather high-level debate here today. I'd like to begin by asking those on the panel, what are your experiences with La Rouge, with the organization? Next to me, Mr. Ströbele, member of the German parliament. Let me ask you, do we have any experiences in Germany with that group? Yes, of course. There are these experiences, otherwise I wouldn't be here on the panel. I'm from Berlin myself, and I have. I, I, I didn't just get in touch with Buzor, but with the precursor organization, EAP, the European Workers' Party. Uh, this was a number of years ago. And my experiences were rather sad, unfortunately. Uh, I represented some students back then, acting as a lawyer who had gotten caught up in the EAP, but that's not what I want to talk about today. Uh, rather unsuspectingly, subsequently, and I'm a political person, I'm pretty au fait with the political landscape, 
So in the year 2006, not all that long ago, I saw ad advertising by Boozle, and I thought, well, okay, solidarity of uh, citizens sounds all right. Might be quite a nice little political party. They took part in the uh, federal elections. And then I uh, got, came to my electoral district here in Berlin, and I, I passed a, a panel discussion, I guess, or an event, where some rather sympathetic looking young people were singing songs, they were putting something on, on stage. And so I stood there and I watched them for a while, and the person responsible for Germany or Berlin. Uh, uh, walked up to me and tried to get me to, to join in. So then I started reading through some of the pamphlets and some of the flyers and I started talking to some of these people and it became clear very quickly that this was a uh, successor organization of EAP and as soon as I heard the name Zepp La Rouge and Lyndon La Rouge I knew exactly where they ought to be placed. I didn't enter into a debate there and then. There were some protesters standing around as well at the same time, i.e. protesters against that organization. So I joined them and gave them a very clear assessment that I thought this organization by Helga Zeppelin was a right-wing, extremist, anti-Semitic sect. And once I'd said that, this uh, person, the young person who I talked to, uh, became rather stroppy, which is understandable, and asked me to repeat what I just said, and he called up some people to witness this, so I said it a second time, and I even said it a third time. And then they announced this on stage, and the result was that some came over to my side and said, yes, you're right. <coughs> and the outcome then was, well, if you carry on saying these things, then we're going to take it to court. I then read a press statement that uh, I had indeed been indicted. Uh, you can read this up on the web, but uh, it wasn't pursued at this case. I didn't hear any more from the prosecutor's office. But I then met with Mr. Duggan, and I started looking into things a bit more intensively, potentially also getting ready for my own court case. So I actually posed a small inquiry, parliamentary inquiry in the German Bundestag, and I'll uh, perhaps say a bit more about that later. 